So let's take a look at this problem right here. It's saying, uh, find the domain of each function, graph the function by hand, verify the results, locate any intercepts based on the graph, find the range. So this is a piecewise function, and here's how I like to do these problems. First of all, you identify what kind of graphs they are. This one, these are both linear graphs, and you'll see that one of them is defined for x is less than 1. So for every x less than 1, I'm going to just kind of put a little dot, dotted line right there because that's, that's the place where my graph is going to change. So let's graph this with a red pen. We'll do this one in red. This one will be red. Here. And so if you remember from Algebra 1, how do you graph this? You start at 3 because that's the y-intercept. And then the slope is negative 2. So you go down 2 and to the right 1. And look how that happens to put me right on this graph right here. Now notice that it puts me right on the dotted line. But notice that x does not equal 1, right? So I have to put an open dot right there. And there happen to be two really nice points. And now I'm going to, I always like to do three points. So let's do another point. Let's go up two and to the left one. So there's another point, and now I can draw my line. There's my line. It's going to stop at. It's going to stop at the point, one comma one. So notice one comma one would have been on this graph if I plug one in for x. I'd get one for y. That would have been on the graph, except for the fact that one is not part of the domain, right? So that's the, that's the left side of my graph. Now I'll do the right side of my graph in green. So this graph is for anything to the right of that. So again, I'm going to start with my y-intercept, which is 2 down there. Or sorry, negative 2. That's right down there. And I'm going to go up 3 over 1. That's the slope. 1, 2, 3. Hey, look at that. Up 3 over 1 is going to put me right on that dot right there. So it actually, I can fill in that dot because it's the same point. So this is a continuous function. That's a continuous function. Now, notice I put this point to the left of the dotted line. Is this green line defined to the left of that blue dotted line? The answer is no, it's not, because it's defined only when x is greater than or equal to 1. So I'm kind of going to make a dotted line, because this I'm going to actually erase in just a second. But then when I get to the right of it, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1 again. And there's my other line right there. So now I take my eraser and I erase everything that's not part of my graph. And that's how you graph that piecewise function. Now the question that they're asking is find the domain. Well, the domain, we could have told by this. I'm, am I going to plug x in? Every x value, is every x value going to eventually be plugged into one of those? Yes, it is. I like to do the domain as a as a, um, a vertical line scan. I scan. Is that going to touch the graph? Yes, 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 yes. Am I ever going to say no? No. And so that's, that's what I like to do. It's called a vertical line scan to test my domain. If they ask for the range, which they are, so they're again asking for the range for part D, I'm going to do a horizontal line scan. Does that hit the graph? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. So what's my domain? What's my range? My range is every everywhere where y is defined, which is my range would be from including this line right here, which is one, to positive infinity. That's my range. My domain is all real numbers, so it's negative infinity to positive infinity. That's part A. This was part D. Let's figure out part B. Any intercepts? Well, there's only one intercept right there. There's only a y-intercept. And can I tell what that point is? Yes, I can, because that point was 3. That was on my red graph. That's 3 comma 0. So part B is... Um, I said 3 comma 0, I meant 0 comma 3, because that's the y-intercept. Notice there is no x-intercept. 
we've already graphed it by hand, so C is done. Um, verify the results by using a graphing calculator. So you could plug this in. This would be your Y1. Let me erase this. If you wanted to verify the results, this is your Y1 in your graphing calculator. This is your Y2. And um, depending on the kind of graphing calculator that you have, you can limit the domain of each of those functions. Some calculators you need are easy to do, some are not so easy to do, but or you could just graph them both and it would look like this. It would look like two intersecting lines like that and that and you just would have to recognize that for that it's only defined on the red line to the left of where they intersect on the and the green line to the right of where they intersect.